Hey what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I just wanted to do a review on these Ziz brine shrimp hatcheries. Um, I upgraded my um, brine shrimp hatchery setup with these guys. My old setup was working really well. Uh, the only thing was the, the valves that I was using, the metal ones, um, were starting to, to get stuck so they were hard to open and close. <laughs> So I decided to upgrade to this system and actually these containers are quite large so I can hatch out a lot, a lot more brine shrimp now too. So I've been putting um, four scoops of brine shrimp eggs into these containers. Um, but let's go over the setup. Basically um, I have it hanging on these brackets over here against a 4x4 piece of wood. So out of the box this system came with the air stone and a hard line uh, air hose but I decided not to use that instead I'm just using a, a, a hard line air hose and sticking it right to the bottom. Uh, the reason I did that because um, with the air stone I noticed that it wasn't creating enough turbulence where the eggs were kind of um, settling too much on the bottom on this rim here. Um, so with this I'm able to turn it up a lot higher and cause a lot more stir so the eggs don't get st stuck in the corners anymore. Um, it also came with a thermometer which I'm not using as well because it's always warm over here. But uh, let's go over how I do it. So basically I just take the air line out and I wait about three minutes for the brine shrimp to settle to the bottom. And I'm not sure if you can see that but they're all sinking right now. Okay, now that it's all pretty much settled, um, what am I going to do? I'm, I'm just going to open up this drain. It's going to drain into this little container over here. So let's get that started. You just do it a few turns until you, until you start seeing it come out. You don't want to go all the way because actually you can't take the whole thing out in case you wanted to clean it. Okay, and then I'm just going to drain it all the way down into almost the very bottom because um, a lot of the eggshells are at the top and I don't want to get that in the container so I stop right before that happens. Um, there is some baby brine shrimp that is going to be wasted due to that but um, I'd rather not get those eggshells um, in my feeding. Alright, I just stopped it right before the end. So now I'm gonna clean this thing out. Okay, and here I'm just pouring out the brine shrimp into this large brine shrimp sheave that I got from Brine Shrimp Direct. Okay, and then I'm just gonna rinse out the brine shrimp pretty good. Fresh water. Okay, and then I'm just gonna pour it right into this cup. Takes a few times to get all the brine shrimp out. Yeah, I like to fill this to the top and let it settle. I'll show you why in a moment. Okay, so, so if you notice, I poured the water back into the container. Um, the reason for that is I like to reuse the water for a few times, um, but given it looks this cloudy, I'm not going to reuse this water. So I'm, I'm going to dump this water and, and get a new supply. Okay, I always like to keep a, a spare bucket full of salt water in here and I just keep this hydrometer just to make sure it's the right gravity. A brine shrimp can take a, a wide range so it's not, I'm not too picky on that. Uh, so I just take a container full and let me fill this guy. Okay, here's the reason I like to let it settle. Uh, it's because some eggs are still in there and they, they, they start to float. So I can just take this little net and scoop those remaining egg shells out. As far as the brine shrimp eggs, I buy a pound at a time from Brine Shrimp Direct. I like to buy the, the premium grade. Um, it has the highest hatch rate. Um, so I like to keep a large container full in the freezer. And I also keep a small container full in the fridge. And whenever it gets empty, I just refill this with this guy. Okay, and then I, I like to just put four scoops of eggs to reset the system. Put the 
cover back on and the airline back in and that's it I do this twice a day one in the a.m. and one in the p.m. and then I like to fill this squirt bottle rinse it out a few times and I fill the bottle to the top Let's go feed some fish. 